the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. To Him be all glory now and forever unto the end of ages, Amen. We, uh, over the last few weeks, we talk about some of the words we find in the liturgy. Some of the words we find in the liturgy. We talked about, uh, what do you talk about? What do you talk about? Hmm. What words of the liturgy did we talk about before? Huh. Alleluia. Hmm. Huh? Amen. Hmm. One we see so much times. Lord have mercy, carry us on. Last time, two weeks ago, we talked about the word eh, Nairuz, hmm? the beginning of the, of the new year. So, this uh, today, we will talk about another word that we use. We use the word doxa. You heard the word doxa? Zoxa or doxa? Hmm. You heard about the word doxa? Doxa? You didn't hear about doxa? Zoxa sikiriye or zoxa petri? Hmm? We call it doxa or doxa? Doxa or doxa? We know this word, we don't know this word. We, we didn't know this word. We never said zoxa petri. Yeah, that's zoxa. Zoxa petri. Patri means what? What does patri mean? Huh, patri. 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 Anyone know, know, know what patri means? Hmm. From pa patri comes patriarch. Patriarch. Hmm. What does patriarch mean? Huh. Patri means father. Patriarch means he is the. Uh, Arsh means the first father or the head of fathers, okay? So, we, we, about, we, we patriarch is Pope Shenouda. He is a, he is the first among, Arsh means like Archangel. Arsh means the head or the first. We say Arshi Angel means they, he is the head of angels. So, he is the head of all the fathers, okay? So, Patri means a father. So, we say Zoxa Patri means a Means what? What does Zoxa? No, Zoxa Patri. Means what? <laughs> Means what? <laughs> Glory to? To the Father. Zoxa Patri, K means and, Io, Son, K, Agio Nevmati means Agio means Holy, Nevmati is Spirit, Holy Spirit. So, ho Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So, Zoxa. And, and uh, when we say that, when we read the gospel, we say zuxasi kiriye. We know from kiriye leison, kiriye means what? Kiriye means Lord. Eleison, have mercy. We say eleison, have mercy. So zuxasi kiriye means glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Lord. So we say ascribe glory to God, whether we glory to the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit, or glory to you, O Lord. Um, and where does do, where do we where do we bring get this from? Again, from the Book of Revelation, when the angels say to you, "Is a is the power, the glory, the might forever." This is a what we say in the Holy Week of Pascha. Sok tetigum, nimbiu, nimbezmun, nimbi amahi shani amin. Um, glory in Coptic is AOU, in Greek is Zoxa. So either AU or Zoxa mean the same thing. Why does God, what does glory mean? Hmm. We, say, we used to say glory, glory, glory. What does glory mean? Hmm. What does glory mean? Hmm. Anyone here on this side? I got all the answers from this side. The side's very quiet. What does glory mean? Hmm. Praise. Praise. Hmm. What else? What is glory? It's more than praise. With something so glorious. Hmm. What does glory mean? Magd. Hmm. Yes. Something is great. Hmm. 
What be sure? Something is very honored, yes. Hmm. Something heavenly, yeah, that's good, Carmina. Something yeah, powerful, something outstanding. Okay, yeah, this is what we ascribe to God, something that's glory. When we say about Christ, how he emptied himself of his glory, because, you, you know, before Christ was born, he was there. We say Christ has, how many births? Has two births. Christ, our Lord, has two births. He's born two times. One time born of the Father before all ages. This is a, something that is, a, that is a, 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 before all the ages. And the second birth, this is a, according to his, his divinity. According to his humanity, he was born in the fullness of time. Hmm? Let's leave the phones. It's not time to, 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 do, to use the phones now. Everybody. Ashaya time is not time to look at your phone. It's very important. What I'm saying now is very important. So he's born a second time in the fullness of time from, from a Saint Mary. Saint Mary. So when, when, when Saint Paul talks about him emptying himself, emptying himself of his glory, that means he's foregoing, he's letting go of all the glorious things that he, that is, that, that God has by default. God is so glorious. God is so glorious. So that's why we, we remind ourselves that this glory befits you. Glory befits you, O Lord. Glory befits the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Glory befits your altar. Glory befits your praise and worship. Even Abun, in the beginning of the first thing that he says in the liturgy, after he picks the, the Hamal, he says, glory and honor, honor and glory. You see how glory, uh, somebody mentioned here, uh, mentioned that glory, something glory, something uh, that, that's full of honor. That's Abu that says, glory and honor, honor and glory to the Holy Trinity, the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit. So our worship here is is to, not that God needs more glory, he is full of glory, but we, it is us that we need to acknowledge his glory. We need to acknowledge. What does acknowledge mean? Hmm. What does acknowledge mean? When you say acknowledge, yeah. Recognize. That's a very good word. Recognize. My question to you, by all of us, do, do we recognize the glory? Isaiah Kedah saw the glory of God in the temple, and he said, Woe to me, I can't stand here anymore. I'm not worthy to stand here anymore. I'm not worthy. This is not my place because I am a man of unclean lips and live among people of unclean lips. But God sent one of the seraphim, a seraph, with an ember, a coal, a lit coal from the altar, and touched his lips and said, hey, This will cleanse you so you can. You can Continue to serve me and stand before me. That's why when I say glory to you, O Lord, I recognize, I recognize and realize how glorious it is for me to be standing here. And when I realize the awesomeness of where I am, I will not get distracted by anything or by any gadget or by any idea or any thought. I'll be fully engaged, fully concentrating, fully focused on the worship on me to stand before the altar of God. So when you say glory to you, O Lord, the glory to the Father and Son, Zoksa or O'u, you, you know what this should remind you of. To him be all glory now and forever unto the end of ages. Amen. <laughs>